Dr. Kwan, the doctor is in. Now I'm gonna show you some of the technology I've got in my house. It allows me to be a little more independent, whether it be life, work, or play. First one is my environmental control unit. All it is, well, it's basically the size of a shoebox. I have it way over there on the corner. A black box, it's got a pyramid in front of it. And how that works, to program it, there's a certain vocabulary training, about maybe 300 words or so. And then you program in remote controls that have infrared that goes into the unit. What the unit does is emits that infrared from the remote that's programmed into it, into the pyramid. The pyramid converts it to radio waves. The radio waves go to other pyramids. You can see I'll throw up my desk there. And then those radio waves convert it back to infrared and allows me to control things that can be controlled with the remote control. So I've got a microphone on my chair. There's also one on my bed over there, same thing. I can do lots of things. I can control the telephone, which allows me to be fairly independent. So if something were to happen, I could always call somebody. And I have to give it a name. It used to be Maxwell for the longest time, but I've been watching um, The Terminator lately, so I changed it to more appropriate for that, um, that area, era and the fact that machines are taking over the world. Skynet. Yes. Torchlight. Light. One. 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 Two. 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 Power on. Turn on. And I can turn on the lights. Skynet. Yes. Torchlight. Light. One. One. Two. 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 Shut off. And it won't shut one of them off anyway. The reason I change it from light to torchlight because sometimes it doesn't understand or gets confused between one or two words. Other things I can control. If you look up here, I can control the stereo. Skynet. Yes. Blu-ray. VCR. Power on. Power on. Turn on. And I'll turn on everything. Excuse me? Cancel. Cancel. Skynet. Yes. Stereo. Remote one. Function. Function. One. One. Cancel. Cancel. Skynet. Yes. Cable box. Cable. Power on. Turn on. Hopefully I'm not watching porn on this thing. Excuse me? Change channel. Channel. Seven. 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 Three. 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 Cancel. 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 You can change the channel, you can do whatever you want. Control the volume, the station, pause it, rewind it, DVR, access movies, and so, and so forth. Skynet. Yes. Cable box. Cable. Shut off. Shut off. I can also control uh, open and close doors. Yeah, uh, I've got speakers on the wall. If you look up there on the wall up there, there's one there. There's also one in my office. So it allows me to hear it throughout the house. Skynet. Yes. Device. Apply. Two. 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 Power on. Power on. Turn off. That opens the door of the garage. Skynet. Yes. Device. Apply. Two. Two. Power on. Power on. Four. No, thank you. No. Power on. Turn on. That opens and controls the doors. So basically anything with a, an electric plug or an infrared remote control, I can control it. Middle office is where the magic happens for my work. You can see the desk that I roll under. I've got mouth six, one for the phone, a trackball, a keyboard. I've also got my dragon, naturally speaking, voice controls that I can show you how I use. Right now, I am showing the YouTube community how I type using only my voice, period. The Dragon Naturally Speaking program is fairly accurate, dash, probably more accurate than 99%, period. That seems pretty accurate, but if a document is 10,000 words or so, Correct herself. Choose one. Dash. That can result in a lot of errors. Period. Go to sleep. So you can see how it, it made one mistake, but I can correct it. Well, it doesn't make any spelling errors. It'll just make words like 
It's either the word stairs, something you walk down, or stairs, something you do with your eyes. It confuses those words. So similar words. Um, I forget what those are called. Are those homonyms? I can't remember. Wake up. Copy all the clipboard. Paste document. Paste that. Go to sleep. So you can paste it on whatever you type onto a Word document. You can paste it into an email. You can surf the web with it. It's pretty handy. Wake up. Microphone off. So this is where the magic happens, where I do my fun. Quad stick set up. Got the webcam for my beautiful face. I'm surprised it hasn't broken yet because it ain't that beautiful. I've got my microphone for obviously recording, PC for editing, and big TV for game playing. The monster computer that I'm there for all the other uploading, editing, all that good stuff. The quad stick, let me show you how it works. I've got a version, oh God, it's so dusty, I'm embarrassed. And of course I'm right in the middle of the sun from a skylight. But it's got four holes. Do -do -do -do. So what it basically is, is this, the stick moves around. Here, I'll show you in a game. All right, so while I'm in Battlefield, this is a generic mode and then the left, the left button right here, you can see the top right light. Allows me, it's like a left analog stick. The middle one's a combination, forward and back, left and right. The right one is just analog. The last one is the D-pad. So but that doesn't really work for all games. It does a lot of practice, but it makes it more difficult. Generically, the left, pulling on the left button, it's the left trigger. Right button is the right trigger. Sip on the left. Let's go throw a grenade. Right one is the right uh, bumper. Center sip is an X. Center pump is B. Right center and right puff is Y. And then all the rest are complex. What you do is you load game profiles in this thing. So I hold on to this right uh, hole and the quad stick links. I can move it to, there's a game on this mode, a game on this mode, a game on this mode, a game on that mode, on that mode, and so forth. So I have eight games programmed in. I believe you can have up to 64. Over here on the PC, you use the quad stick manager program. You can plug in the quad stick and you can load up spreadsheets that I've created. You can see I've got games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Battlefield 5, Call of Duty Warzone, some other games on there as well. And I can create a profile for each one. These functions can be made, it's almost like a controller emulator. Make each each function do what command I want it to. I'll just show you one real quick. I'm not gonna get too technical. We're just going on the game I was just on Battlefield. This is what the left analog mode looks like. Right analog, there's a bunch of commands you can do. You can move the guy and do what I want to. So if I load this in, which I have, hard sip, get on the Battlefield 5 game mode. And now I've got a game mode, I can do what I want. I can jump, I can duck, I can shoot, I can reload, I can change weapons. Chuck a grenade. I almost died. I can die. Just like that. Oh, he died too. I deserve it for shooting me. So between the environmental control unit, aka Skynet, with the voice control to type up documents, the quad stick to allow me to play any kind of Xbox game I want. It can also be used with PC, PlayStation, switch as well those are the three electronics i need to help me stay busy entertain keep my mind occupied and produce some content that maybe other people enjoy if you have any questions shoot me an, uh, an email or send up a comment but if you like the video hit like if not just like perfectly fine subscribe if you want some more it's dr quads and the doctor's out be safe